Welcome back to another Rusty MX-5 video. We have my friend's Fraser's Mark 2.5, which has a catalytic, catalytic converter emit efficiency below threshold thing. So we've decided to go ahead and replace the post-cat oxygen sensor. How hard should it be, right? So the plug for the actual sensor comes up through a hole just down here. It comes through the grommet, just through that button there, and the plug is just on the end of it. There's a clip which you can pull out. As it goes through, we push that underneath. Pre-sprayed the O2 sensor with um, some WD-40 penetrant. There's a 22 millimeter socket size, and then I bought a special one with a cutout so I can go over the wire as well. So hopefully we'll be able to get that on top. Here it is. You can see the cables dropped out, and it's meant to be bolted to here on oh, that bracket as well. So that's looks like it's rusted off. So it's a good sign to say it's the original. Um, I try and get see if this will fit under there. Oh, I don't think that socket's actually going to fit under there. To be honest, so got a 22 millimeter spanner. Right, so after about two and a half hours. It's taken me to actually get this off. Um, I've removed, had to remove the whole lower bracing from the rear, which is a bit of a nightmare. But I've got a, um, I'm gonna try and impact on it off. Um, hopefully. That's not working. we we'll get breaker bar. That is well and truly seized in there, unfortunately. So yeah, well, it's a bit... I've managed to break it loose. Ooh, where am I? There I am. Uh, using a bit of a bodgy, not that way, spanner method. Just hooking them around to give you a, little, a lot more leverage. Um, it's in there so tight, the actual proper socket was actually was actually opening and slipping. So what I'm going to do is um, clean this hole up, make sure I can get all the residual penetrant away, because I don't want that to contaminate the new sensor. Um, and then we will install it with some anti-seize. We compare that to a new one, how they look from new. So, look black and burnt. Right, so the exhaust is all back together. I've pushed the sensor through this hole and then just made the grommet sit nicely. So now we just have to plug her in. Well, that's everything done now. Um, so thanks for watching. It took me about five, probably hours, over two days, maybe, to get everything done. Um, yeah, make sure you stock up on a lot of a penetrant spray and you're probably better off to spray things the day before you're actually going to be doing anything. But yeah, if you enjoy this one, like, subscribe. Yeah. <laughs>